So stonewalling, you've experienced it, you've probably done it, I know I've done it, and what is it? Stonewalling is the silent treatment. It is your partner leaving the room right as you walk in. What, what just happened? It's the, oh honey, I'm tired, I'm gonna go to bed early. It's the, I don't have time to talk to you, and there's always an excuse or a rationalization or a justification, but ultimately you feel the distance between you and them almost like an invisible wall is between the two of you and you're not on the same page and you can't get your point across, they're not willing to listen. So stonewalling in relationships generally comes from somebody, you or your partner, feeling overwhelmed in the moment. There's too much going on, too many thoughts, too many feelings. A lot of times it's actually not this moment, it's memories of the past and previous relationships and I know this tension, I know this stress, I've been there before, I don't wanna deal with it, it didn't go well, <laughs> wall goes up. And so the person is ultimately trying to protect themselves from the emotions of the moment, good, bad, or sideways. They feel like you are part of the problem rather than the ability to be part of the solution. Now, please understand, I am talking about stonewalling in a normal, healthy relationship because it's gonna happen from time to time. I'm not talking about stonewalling specifically with narcissists, uh, borderline personality disorder, sociopaths, all that. That's a whole other special case that's much more complicated. So we're just talking normal, regular, everyday people stuff, okay? So stonewalling can be considered a form of communication. And the best way for you to deal with this, honestly, is to tactfully and gently acknowledge it and breathe into the moment and start to take the pressure out, take the tension down. Because you gotta realize for the feminine person, the feminine polarity for a lot of women, communication, connection is life. And so when they stonewall, when they withdraw, that's like a giant screaming, I'm not happy, you need to change some things, we need to connect, we're not on the same page. And to them it's blatantly obvious, the silent treatment. But a lot of guys, because they're used to communicating masculine, point, problem, she's not saying anything, we're good, everything's fine. Everything's wonderful. No, she hasn't talked to me in like two days, man. Best days of my life. It's been so quiet and calm. And I'm like, Whoosh. dude, there's a reason she's not talking. And your relationship, if there was a flame, you need oxygen. And if she's not talking to you, that flame is dying. That's a huge wake up call and a huge warning sign. This relationship is not going in a good direction. So what are we going to do to deal with this? The first thing you got to realize is the fact that you feel that friction, you feel that frustration, acknowledge it, but start by calming yourself. Take a deep breath, relax your shoulders, the tension in your neck, the tension probably in the pit of your stomach, the fear, because if you feel disrespected, if you feel like she walked away from you or she's cutting you out, it's very easy for you to go into a pattern of your past and your previous relationships and fear can creep in. So take a deep breath, soften and center. So the second step is you wanna step into her and be able to connect and to communicate, not problem solve, because problem solving will cause bigger explosions. So acknowledge the situation. Hey, babe, I, I this is really important. I can see that this matters to you and it really matters to me that we're on the same page, but I'm not feeling very resourceful. I feel like my emotions, my thoughts, my feelings, everything's getting too big and I'm gonna say or do something I'm gonna regret. You and this relationship are way too important for me to mess this up. So I'm gonna take 15 minutes to take a step back, get myself more calm, cool, and collected so we can have this conversation either in 15 minutes or later on today. Definitely, I would like to get on the same page with you because it's really important and I see the tension, I see the frustration you're under and I don't wanna be a part of that problem. Now what I've just done is I put what's called a frame of reference around this because if you recognize the tension and you just walk away, that's open to interpretation. Oh, he doesn't care about me. Oh, he, this doesn't matter to him. Oh, he's so uninvolved in our relationship. And you're again, that flame is dying. So put a frame around it as you step back. Now that's only one of actually several different solutions to handle stonewalling. And the best place to continue this conversation is in my Facebook group, the Win Win Parenting Group, designed to help you have a strong marriage, better communication, raise amazing kids. The link is in the description down below, but it's Facebook, win slash win parenting. I'd love to have you come join me and let's continue this conversation. Thanks guys for tuning in. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you check out a couple more and definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notifications so you will see the next video when it goes live.